Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is video editorial for the problem company queries first taken from CSCS tree algorithm series. So let's see what the problem statement says. So the problem statement says that the company has n employees and they form like a tree-like hierarchy. Okay, and where each employee has a boss except for the general director. Basically, you can consider that as root, right? So it forms a tree hierarchy. Now you have to process Q queries of the form uh, x k. That means for employee X who is K level hierarchy up, his boss who is K level up in the hierarchy. So this is the problem statement. So this is uh, this is the query that we have to process. For example, if it is given like 2, 2, so you have to tell for node 2 who is the boss that is at level 2. So clearly for node 2, uh, 2 level higher, sorry. For node 2, the boss that is at 2 level higher is actually node 4. So the answer would be 4, right? So now that we know what is the problem statement, let's see what are the prerequisites for the solution of this problem. So first, basics of graph theory. Second, DFS, that is depth first search. I've covered all of this in my co uh, course, graph theory course part one. So you can go through that course and learn all of this. So let's continue. Let's see how we are actually going to solve this problem. So you can see this is the tree. Uh, node one is the root actually. I couldn't represent it vertically because of course I do not have that much space so what we are going to do we are going to use 2d array sparse array so uh, where table of i of j will represent who is the 2s power jth parent of node i for each node will be storing information about its parent which is at distance 2s power i right we are not going to store uh, information about every single parent that each node has but instead we'll be storing information for all those parents which are at certain dist uh, at distance which is a power of 2 right for node 9 it will be 2s power this is at distance 2s power 0 this is at distance 2s power 1 this is at distance 2s power 2 and uh, this is at distance 2s power 3 right so only these nodes will be uh, storing right so table uh, this you already know so let's build this table first before answering the queries so first of all what we'll be doing we'll be storing for each node who is its 2s power 0th parent so for node 1 who is its 2s power 0th parent that means the the parent who is at distance 1 from node 1 node 1 is the root so of course it would not have any parent so minus 1 so if you if certain node does not have 2s power ith parent right so at cell uh, ij if certain node i is not having any parent at distance 2s power j so at table ij will be storing minus one okay so for node one there's no node at distance one for node two it's one for node three is two so all of the information we have filled here one important information how many columns you are going to have right so for example you can ask yourself what is the maximum number of uh, two is for uh, what is the biggest distance you can have in power uh, in terms of power of two right if you have n nodes you can at max have a uh, log n different nodes that you need to store for each node at max log n right so because the maximum distance can be 2 is power log of n that is the maximum distance you can have so that's why uh, number of column will we will have is log of n so basically this is nothing special uh, if, if you have this is basically uh, one of the part of that forms binary lifting right when you when you are going to calculate what is the lca of certain uh, of two different nodes uh, to calculate that you apply binary lifting and this is one of the parts of binary li binary lifting so if you go ahead and uh, learn binary lifting actually you will you will go through this as well so to solve this problem or you can if you are starting from this you'll be able to understand binary lifting as well so if you are first learning this technique so go ahead learn this and after that make sure that you also learn uh, binary lifting and solve problem related to that as well now the question is how to fill this table right uh to power zero basically zeroth level that is to power zeroth parent you can fill easily because that is given in the input itself for each node it's the direct parent or the direct boss is given so to power zeroth uh, parent you can fill that is you can fill the zeroth level what about the first level second level and the third level so uh, how you are going to fill that right so the the hint uh, i want you to think yourself and the hint is uh just think how using the ith level you can actually fill the i plus one -th level right think about it now before we move on are you a student or a working professional looking for a career in software development and i'm sure we all want to excel in our career and think about aspects like what is trending in the industry what kind of questions are asked in top product company interviews what are the thought process behind the architect of great applications and products how to improve your code chef ranking 
An Academy has launched a platform where we are interacting live and addressing these concerns and much more in our weekly episodes. Now a little bit about the hosts of the shows. They are working with some of the top product based companies like Google and Amazon to name a few. They are 7 star coders on CodeChef and are industry experts with years of experience. They will walk you through their own industry experience and interact with the guests over the questions raised by you over the live episodes. And what content will it cover? Well, it will have live episode where you get an opportunity to ask tech HRs and industry leaders directly. Stay updated with the hiring updates in startups and MNCs, what's the eligibility and how to apply. You can participate in mock interviews and contests and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, tech aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. So what benefits you'll be getting out of this? Well, you'll be getting end-to-end -end understanding of recruitment process and get your resume improved. Improve your college or personal project by getting them reviewed by expert SDEs. Get the answers to the top 20 interview questions and the thought process. Get a chance to interact with engineering leads of Amazon, Zomato, Ola, ETC about their thought process behind creating the system and architecture that can handle millions of concurrent users. Not everybody needs to pay or can afford 1 lakh rupees per year. On Unacademy, you can get your daily dose of learning about software development and many such shows at only rupees 999 per year. And you can use my code and get additional 10% off and get the same subscription on 899 only. So, have you ever wondered about the hiring process of top startups and similar top MNCs? Get to understand the A to Z recruitment process and get some idea about the interesting projects which they are working on. If you want to understand the internal structure and the work culture of top product companies, this is the show for you. What are some of the benefits that you will get here but not anywhere else? Well, here or you will hear directly from the companies, their HR and tech teams on what they look for in the individual while acquiring people. Also get your questions answered directly from Anuj and your HR guests on each show. In this show, Anuj will host prominent HR leaders of tech industry and will get to understand the hiring process, the structure of teams, key product offerings and interesting projects being worked on by HRs while hosting the event. Now let me tell you how you can get the subscription. Go to the link provided in the description of the video, click on get subscription. Then here you can apply my code, code and code underscore UA and get 10% off. You can also go ahead and check out some of the live and free classes going on right now. And also, you can check out the weekly program schedule here. Now, let's head back to our lecture. So, now the question was how to fill the rest of the table, right? So, I told you that using the uh, using level I, we can fill actually level I plus one. How? See, suppose you already know uh, fill uh, till uh, till uh, level two, we have already filled, right? So, let's see how we'll fill the third le level, right? So, for each node, we know who is there to respond second parent, that is parent at distance 4 right now for each node we need to calculate who is their parent at distance 2 is power 3 right so who is the distance uh, who is the parent of node 9 at distance 2 is power 2 that is node 5 and who is the parent of node 5 at distance 2 is power 2 that is node 1 right so the distance from here to here is 2 is power 2 the distance from here to here is 2 is power 2 so what will be the distance from here to here you got it 2 is power 3 right so now to calculate uh, the parent at two uh, at distance two is power i plus one. You can utilize the uh, the node or the parent at distance two is power i. How? Just find out for each node. Just find out who is the parent at two is power at two is power i, right? At distance two is power i. So that will be this. And now the parent of this at two is power i will be the parent of this node at two is power i plus one, right? Now using that knowledge, you can fill the rest of the table. And now let's see how we'll answer the query for uh, answer this query basically so who is the seventh parent of node 9 right so see here how we'll solve this problem is this uh, since we were using two uh, two is for ith parent right so of course uh, power of two has to do something with this right so seven you can write it down as uh, in the binary representation is one 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 that is two is for zero plus two is for one plus two is for two right so what we are going to do how we are going to find the answer of it you can actually break down seven uh, like this so what we can do is that we will start we will have a pointer that will start from the node that we are standing on for which we need to calculate the seventh parent or the eighth parent whatever that is right so starting from a very uh, starting 
bits we will check whether the zeroth bit is set or not of course zeroth bit is set so what we'll do we'll go to the 2s power zeroth parent of node 9 which is the current which is being pointed by the current pointer right so we'll move on to 8 right now we'll check whether the 2s power oneth bit or is set or not we, we will check every single bit starting from 0 up to the log nth bit right we have log n columns right so 2 s power 0th is checked and in 7 2 s power 0th bit was set i mean 0th bit was set what about the first bit yes first bit is also set so we'll move on to the 2 s power 1th parent of 8 right so 2 s power 1th parent of 8 is actually 6 so we moved on there now we'll check the second bit is second bit set or not of course uh, second bit is also set so we will move on to the 2 s power second parent of 6 which is 2 right now we will continue this till the maximum column that we have and we'll see the rest of the bits are not set so we will stop here and this is the seventh parent of no, uh, of node 9 and hence you have got the answer so if i show you the same thing using the code so you see uh, the table i'm calling as dp and max and i've defined uh, the maximum number of column i've defined as 21 right so the prop uh, the input is given for each node it's 2s for zero parent is given right so that uh, I'm setting it already after that what I'm doing uh, first of all it's important to initialize the table with minus one right after that what I'm doing I'm doing the pre-processing and after that I'm reading a and k and then printing the kth parent right so what what we are doing in the uh, pre-processing we are filling the table uh, we are filling the table uh, level by level right for each level we are going through all of the nodes and checking whether their uh, i minus 1th parent exists or not if i minus 1th parent does not exist you can't find the i th parent itself right so using the i minus 1th table or the level we are finding out the i th level parent right and after the pre-processing that i've explained right uh, in, in the slides as well uh, what we are doing we are finding the kth parent how of course we are starting from the zeroth bit and going till the maximum number of column and checking whether the ith bit in k is set or not and if it is set the ith parent should also exist a uh, 2 is power ith parent should also exist if it does of course uh, you will set the node to be equal to this be this is basically your pair uh, pointer right we had a pointer this one right so node is your pointer and after that subtract that from uh, from k subtract 2 s power i from the k basically uh, 2 s power 0 you will subtract from 7 2 s power 1 you will subtract from 7 and 2 s power 2 you will subtract from 7 so it will become 0 so k will basically become 0 at the end of this while loop if k is not 0 that means uh, you uh, you are not able to reach the end that means that parent does not exist right so if k is greater than 0 that means it is not 0 some jumps you are not able to make and that means that parent does not exist and that means the kth parent does not exist that's why i'm setting the answer the node to be minus 1 and returning the node which is being printed here because if the kth parent does not exist you have to print minus 1 so i'll be providing the solution in the uh, description of the video uh, so that you can use it as a reference so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you